Good morning. Okay, I, I need a little more than that. I know you guys can do it. You ready? Ready? Good morning. That was better. You, got, you guys are getting better. I'm confident that you guys are getting better at this good morning thing. And in case you didn't not- notice, I just praised you. You guys are doing a good job. You're getting better. I gave you a compliment. I told you you're doing something well. And today in our service, we're talking about praise. But to get us in, in the mindset for praising God specifically, I, I have a couple questions for you. And hopefully, at least one of you will be able to help me with my questions. If, if I have problems with the pipes in my house, the, the water pipes or the gas lines in my house, what Who do I call? Not the Ghostbusters. Definitely not the Ghostbusters. Hopefully it's not ghosts that are in my pipes. What do you think? Are you you a skilled plumber? Probably better than me at least. Well, typically, I would call a, a plumber, but a handyman like, like your dad might be a good call too. If I had problems with the electrical outlets that I couldn't figure out, or three-way switches, which I know I can't figure out in my house, the electrical stuff, who do I call? No, my dad. Who? Hayden. Hayden, are you, are you an electrician? Man, okay, all right. I complimented you guys too early. I praised you too early. All right. Well, if I have problems with the pipes in my house, I I would call a plumber. If I have problems with the electric in my house, I'd call an electrician. If I have trouble with bugs in my house, lots and lots of bugs, I'd call an exterminator, pest control. There are lots of different people that I could call to solve these kinds of problems. People who know more than I do, have more skills than I do, have more power than I do. And this brings us to our conversation today. We're going to to today talk about praising God, especially in light of Easter. Praising God is like calling the plumber when you have problems with your pipes, calling the electrician when you have problems with your switches in your house. Praising God says, God, you are more powerful than me, and I need your help. God, you are smarter than me, and I need your help. When we go to God in prayer, it's only appropriate that we praise Him. And since it's Easter, we know that we have many reasons to praise God too. We praise Him for the love that He showed us on the cross, the love and care and patience He showed to each of His disciples in this Easter season. We praise God for His power as He rose from the grave. We have lots of reasons to praise God, but we do all of this to fill our hearts with the confidence that God can help and will help us when we go to Him in prayer. So let's pray together and praise God and ask Him to help us for all of those things that He is better than us for, more powerful than us for too. We pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we praise You for Your love and for Your power. You showed both of these in Jesus. And we ask today for your love and power to be in our lives. All these things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, you guys can return to your seats as we continue with our readings.